Hi guys, Scott Hutter here and my name is Anil Deshpande. Before proceeding, let's have a look at how we ended the previous video on the discussion of Android app architecture. Now comes the view. Well, what are the responsibilities that you can think of in our application that view needs to manage? One is initialize the UI elements. It needs to show all the to do's when the application launches for the first time. And then it needs to update the view on addition of the new to do. In the same way, whenever we do remove, modify, we need to update the UI and if there are any errors, we need to show the appropriate errors on the screen. You need to bind the data to the different UI elements. It's very easy to say that these are the views responsibilities, but our view is not a normal view. At the end of the day, our view is getting rendered in an activity. The main challenges that you will see here are how to separate the layout inflation from the activity, how to separate the view instantiation from the activity, how to set the event listeners away from the activity and last but not the least, how does the life cycle of the activity plays into all of this. To get started, we will start with an interface called as MVC view. It has got two methods, one is get root view and init views and then we will create a, another interface called as MVC main activity view. This interface extends MVC view. So it will inherit the methods get root view and the init views. Other than that, it will have few more methods like show all to do's, update view on add, update view on remove, update view on modify and show error. It will also have a method called as bind data to view. Some of the people might prefer adding this into the MVC view to make it more generic because it sounds more generic. I am perfectly fine with that. Finally, we will implement main activity interface through a, another class called as main activity view implementer. And as you can see, it implements MVC main activity view. So it will have to inherit the methods from MVC view and also MVC main activity view. So I think this is the very basic premise we can get started with. What actually we will do in these methods, we will have a look at that in the demo. So let's go to the source code. Okay guys, things are about to become serious. We are going to get started with coding and if there was a time when I would request your undivided attention, this is it. So pay attention to the way I am coding these things. So let's get started with the coding. We are going to modify the same existing code base. You can now see that I have an interface called as MVC view and MVC main activity view. It extends MVC view. We have now defined a class called as main activity view implementer which implements MVC main activity view. And when you implement that particular interface, you will have to implement the methods from the interface. Let me make it easy for myself using the implement methods option provided in the IDE. So now it is time to create few instance variables in the class. So we'll get started with the very basic stuff. We will create a view and call it as a root view. This root view will hold the reference to the layout file. And after this, it is time to create a controller. So we have an instance of MVC controller and then after this, we will also create an instance of MVC model. So we have a MVC model implementer instance which will act as model. After this, it is now time to create few instances of edit text, text views and buttons. This is something that you would have done even in the declaration of a normal activity. And I am just doing the same thing here. After this, I will now create the constructor for main activity view implementer and this particular constructor will take two arguments. First argument would be context and the second argument would be the view group. Some people do not prefer passing the view group because context is more than sufficient to get your work done. Now let's initialize the root view. To do that we will use the layout inflator dot from method pass the context and then we will use inflate method and to this particular method we will have to pass the layout file representing activity and in this case it is r.layout.activity. 
main activity and we will just pass the second argument which is the view group let's initialize the mvc model now that is pretty straightforward you have to just create new instance of mvc model implementer and it takes a to-do list db adapter as the argument which i can get it from my application dot get to do list db adapter method after that i will have to instantiate mvc controller once again that is also pretty straightforward i will have to just invoke new mvc controller and then pass the mvc model and second is the mvc view in this case it is the current class and that is why i am passing this after this we need to initialize all the ui widgets what do i mean by that is edit text buttons and text views so I will just put the init views method on top just below the constructor and then start initializing all the views. It is the same old code that you write that is find view by id. Only the difference is now you have to use it in the context of root view dot find view by id and you will have to do this for all the UI widgets. So let's do that very quickly. After the buttons are initialized it is time to set the event listener and to do that we will do set on click listener and new on click listener and we will have to repeat this for all the remaining buttons after this now it is time to define what should happen on button add to do is clicked that is pretty easy to do we have to just invoke mvc controller dot on add button clicked method and then pass the appropriate arguments and in this case it is to do item string and the place which is also a string both of these values could be obtained from the edit text dot to string so that is why you are seeing that i am invoking the edit text dot get text dot to string and passing them as the arguments to the on add button clicked method. Let's now see what does on add button clicked method of MVC controller contains. If you click on that particular method, you will see that it is invoking update view on add. And right now there is nothing defined there. So it is time to implement that particular method, which is part of MVC activity view implementer. Well, what should happen in this particular particular method we basically need to show all the values that are present in the to do list that can be shown using show all to do's method that we have already defined in this particular interface and then another part is we need to clear the edit text i don't have the method for that so let me write that particular method it will be a private method what this particular method will basically do is it will clear all the edit text that are visible on the layout file and now let me invoke clear edit text after the show all to do's method. Now let us implement what should happen when remove button is clicked. Once again we will follow the same template. We will use the MVC controllers on remove button clicked. So it would be MVC controller dot on remove button click and we will have to pass an integer id. So it is integer dot pass int get the value from the edit text dot get text dot to string and that should invoke method on remove button clicked from the controller. If you go inside the on remove button clicked method of the MVC controller, you will once again see that it is invoking update view on remove method of the MVC view. This method is not yet implemented and that is what we will implement now. And once again, the logic is pretty much similar. We get started with this dot show all to do's and we pass the to do list argument. And then there is a method called as clear edit text, which clears the edit text. After this, the only method that is left to implement is what should happen on click of modify button. Once again, we use the MVC controller dot on modify button clicked and once again you have to pass the id and the string value i will pass them appropriately from the relevant edit text 
on the layout file. Once this is done, let's see what is written inside the on modify button click method. You will observe that once again we are invoking update view on modify method of the view. So let's have a look at that method of the view. As expected, it is empty now. So let's implement it. So it once again gets started with this dot show all to do's, pass the to do list, and also clear the edit text. With this, we are done with most of the implementation except the implementation of show all to do's method. So let's go to that particular method. And in that particular method, we will have to initialize the edit text with the to do list. And as a precaution, we will also clear the edit text. After this, the next method that we need to implement is bind data to view. And as you would expect, the binding of the data to the view should happen when view is loaded. Then it is needless to say that method that we are going to invoke from the controller in bind data to view would be MVC controller dot on view loaded. Basically when the view gets loaded you want to show all the to do's by default. So that is why I am invoking MVC view show all to do's which we implemented few moments back. After this the only method that is left to be implemented now is get root view. That is pretty simple. You have to just return the root view that has been initialized. Let's not forget to implement the show error toast method whatever the error message that will be passed from the controller to this particular method will be shown as a toast message we are done with the implementation of main activity view implementer but this still doesn't answer our question with respect to how these methods are going to be used in the activity if you recall our activity has got lifecycle methods like on create and on resume. The basic question is how the methods of the main activity view implementer can be used in conjunction with these lifecycle methods. We have not yet addressed this part of our question. We shall do that in the next video. That brings us to the end of this particular video. Don't forget to like, comment, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Take care. Bye.